Okay, the brush mechanism is reset. It's a little bit sticky. It uh, transitions really late and it uh, doesn't always snap back even when the motor stops. Now we're going to have the, oh, the camera on the meter, generator in the shaft, and I'm going to try to plug this in with my feet. Get a foot operating switch. Alright, that's that cord coming loose. I'd have to review that, how fast that got going. I think that looked like that got up to about 3,000 RPM. It's definitely not going as fast as it used to. It used to really rev out. And I think with uh, just continued operation, it's uh, starting to free up a little bit. So let's see. Oh, see there, it reset on its own that time. I didn't have the, uh... No, 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 no. <laughs> this is a very clumsy operation. I've never tried to film using this, uh... <laughs> using this, uh tachometer so I didn't have the rubber tip on there properly last time so let's try again I got about 2600 I'd say you can see how bright the light flash is when it transitions back and is momentarily an induction generator so we could probably have just about had that on the low speed. See that meter's maybe off a little bit. That should be showing 1800 RPM, or almost, with uh, no load on it. Anyway, there she is. Try to get some oil down on that mechanism and see if I can make it start behaving better. Otherwise, it seems to work really well. Seems to be a good motor. It's a little vibratey. They all seem to be a little, little bit off balanced. It would help if it was sitting flat. It's kind of teetering on two feet a little bit. Let's see if it'll transition back. Should put a wooden shim under one foot. That'll make it run a lot smoother, I'll bet. There, it almost completely stops. I'll see if I get about getting some oil on that mechanism. Okay, there you go. The horse and a half.